Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin and Maverick and Goose. Great. Maverick and Goose. All right, Maverick, it's time to fly. Hello, YouTube, it's Krosama. And here I have the Gundam H2 Magnum. Uh, really awesome kit. You know, I, I mentioned a lot of great things about the uh, about the kit in the review. So I want to go ahead and start doing the pose video. And in this video, we're just going to go ahead and put it into three different poses. Um, you know, just kind of give y'all some ideas on what you can go ahead and put your kit in, like what pose in particular you can put your kit in, and then uh, just go from there. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first pose. Okay, so overall, uh, I just went ahead and chose a fairly generic pose. I think I think most people probably can go for this approach on their shelf. Um, just essentially him shooting down uh, whatever enemies. It's kind of similar to the one that's on the uh, front cover art, except for uh, on the front of the art, uh, he's essentially, if you can see it, uh, kind of more dashing. Uh, but this one, he's kind of more like kind of maybe dodging that's the way i look at it it's like he's more dodging or he's trying to do some kind of like um some kind of like lateral attack but overall i do like this one it always reminds me of kind of like a strike pose or uh maybe like a zeta pose but overall i think it looks fine so let's go ahead and get into the second pose Okay, so for here, I wanted to utilize those um, those little F funnels uh, in a more melee type of way. And also I wanted to go ahead and put them in a more grounded pose. If someone just didn't want to use the stand, they want to keep them on the ground. I thought this was like, okay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't utilize the, um, the gun. And I know, I know a lot of people probably want to keep the gun on uh, the mobile suit. But if you're just like, hey, I want to utilize these F funnels in a different way outside of them actually kind of like, you know, floating or whatever. Um, you know, maybe this is a good way for you if you want to go ahead and utilize something more melee type. Uh, he does have the beam sabers, so if you want to use those instead, you're more, you're more than welcome to, but I do like this pose. I thought it looked pretty decent. Um, yeah, you can kind of fix the angles on some things, uh, but the feet are really nice, and it could definitely hold itself up you know, fairly well. Um, so let's go ahead and get on to the third and final pose. Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Uh, just wanted to go ahead and have him dashing with the fin funnels. I think this looks really awesome. Um, and to be honest, like this is probably the main pose I'm gonna have on my shelf uh, for this mobile suit. Um, now, one thing I will go ahead and mention is that this thing is kind of a pain to pose. I didn't really realize it until I, I actually started making this video. Um, but some of the parts are just really difficult to mess with. Uh, trying to get those like little, little F funnels in the hands, that's a little troublesome. Um, just kind of putting it in certain positions is a little troublesome, especially with the fin funnels, uh, with the F funnels uh, in the way. Um, that, that's like my only big complaint. Other than that, like it's, it's a pretty dynamic mobile suit. It has great uh, range of mobility, uh, movement. Um, you know, the colors look amazing and everything, so 
It's not, it's not really that bad. I'm just saying, like, hey, be prepared to have a little bit of a, of a, a problem when maybe posing and trying to, like, put the, the funnels in the hands or if you're trying to do, you know, a lot of uh, different things with the hands. It, it's a little bit of a chaotic issue. But other than that, guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, staying with all these uh, poses. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's time for one more pose. No.